Okay, yay, it worked. Now let's move on to video two. Um, so. Oh, yeah, that quick time, I forgot. Okay. So, a couple of uh, similar offenses in here um, in that uh, poses are feeling a little uh, 20. So, you know, you get this uh, symmetrical, like, um, when I say 20, I, I think I, I think everybody knows what I'm talking about, but um, let's say we have a character standing here looking at you, and um, they're doing something like this, right? And then it forms this, like, perfect twin pose, right? Um, so instead of doing that, uh, the the better way to deal with this is you know we, we really start getting this asymmetry in the pose that maybe one arm is down like this and the other one is up like this so just just getting this like asymmetry uh, and that always starts in the spine um, so we look here at this we have a very stiff straight spine um, the legs are kind of doing the same thing, they're kind of twinning. So really just playing around with that would really help a lot to uh, uh, to just make this more dynamic. Um, again, get the character kind of easing in on its landing, like it's sensing gr uh, the ground is coming and slowing down, uh, which is impossible. Um, and we got the IK hands, which is, again, you'll see the hand traveling in a straight line in both of these. So. Um, so that's something to watch out for. Uh, kind of work on the character arc here a little bit. So you see it kind of shoots forward and then just kind of drifts upward a little bit. And so really all of this motion is going to center from the character's hips. Um, so this one would be a good one to um, kind of tweak around with it and uh, get those you get those arcs going uh, first and then uh, and then you can sort of make the limbs work the way you want it to. But again, everything kind of hitting and st starting and stopping at the same frame is also very noticeable. Okay. So moving on. Jensen. Okay. Let's come over here and full screen them. Okay. Um, I have to kind of get in here frame by frame on this one. You've got some pretty decent amount of polish on here. It's looking pretty good. Um, so, um, this is actually feeling good. I feel like the spine is still a little stiff on this. Um, so really push it. Like really, like, you know, even here, you know, he's, he's sort of stretching forward. Uh, but maybe here where he lands, maybe you can really uh, you know, get a little bit more of this going on. Um, I don't know, just kind of bending up the spine. Like, a straight spine is just really... Uh, it just it just stiffens everything out. Um, got some pretty good squash and stretch going on here. I like this push-off. Um, and this push-off is pretty good, too, although I think you, could almost, you can almost make it a little bit more exaggerated, like almost straighten the leg out a little bit more here on this. Um, but maybe not. You don't have to. I like his like trying to make sh maintain his balance on this landing. Push off feels good. So the arc here feels a little weird to me. Like it almost feels like it sort of, you know, that he he kind of zips forward. It's like he kind of has not traveled far enough there. So I do an arc track on his hips. So that spine is really twisted right there. If you look right there. Um. So it's twisted, but it's not really leaning forward or back any. Um, and then on this contact, I think you, I think it would help to maybe straighten the leg and like have the leg reaching a little bit more on this, on this frame. Is this it? Yeah. So they care really like reaching for this landing there. Um, and then the squash on this is really deep. And so the you get this really sharp um, distinction between that and the foot, 
And so that that just feels like that's I feel like that's a, a broken ankle there. So you kind of have to be careful. Uh, but if the knee goes that low, you usually have to roll up on the toe a little bit. Um, and then of course the other thing is the foot starts blowing through the ground here. If we if we scrub through, you'll see it just kind of blows to the ground quite a bit and then comes back up. Um, I feel like this one would be a good opportunity to have a little bit more follow through on the arms, but he kind of hits and stops. And so I think the arms can kind of pull that energy through. Um, and the head just kind of stops too. So I feel like you just need a little bit more residual motion, some secondary action, follow through, overlapping action on the body parts when they hit that on that final pose. So, um, okay, Tate. I'm not, I think you've already asked me for some feedback on this, uh, so this will just be some gravy for you here. Um, so first thing here is sort of this, oh, let's just watch it, let me make sure. Okay. So I think you got a, a decent amount of um, what I call hitches, like little like twitchy parts where it's like it feels like it shifts too fast. Um, if you were to do, um, if you were to draw points on on all of the objects, what a what a hitch feels like to me is like, if this is one frame and then this is another frame, and then this is another frame, and then this is the location of the next one, and then this is the location. Of like that's what a hitch feels like in your arc. Um, so it's like moving around, and you just feel it kind of hitch there and keep going. Um, and so that's why, like, kind of checking your arcs, checking your curves, you can usually find those things in the curves. Um, the only other thing I'd say, you get some slowness here as the character comes down, which we talked about already. Um, and then I think, like, playing with the arcs a little bit, so it kind of stops its forward momentum and kind of shoots down. You get your knee bending backwards there. Um, I think you need, like, a stretch pose here, too, before the character comes down. So, like, like right about here, you know, maybe the character's reaching his leg out to, to land, right? And so I think that those sort of things, um, I think most of that we covered in the... Uh, but I do think it needs a little bit of a timing pass, honestly. And you can see some of the arm hitches like that. And it just sort of pops forward for one frame. You get another one right... I thought I saw another one right there somewhere. Yeah, right there. And so, you know, just kind of playing around with that and kind of cleaning it up. Uh, get get the timing really good and solid first, and then start polishing stuff in. So, Caitlin. Okay. Let's help me watch this. Nice. So. Okay, so I'm going to look at your anticipations first. So you, you kind of you anticipate down here, but it's not very much. And then the character almost goes back to normal and then jumps. Uh, so I think go straight from that anticipation just to bursting up into this this pose. Like You should go from like this anticipation pose straight into this, this pose right here um, in the matter of like two or three frames. Um, so you get your stretch, and then you get your squash, um, and then you get a little bit of anticipation there, and then not quite as, well, I think you could anticipate down just a little bit more on this, and then you get that, and then this feels good, this hit, and you know, it kind of slips off, and I feel like maybe he would, he would lean a little bit more to this side to try to correct, um, in this pose, but, um, just to kind of keep from falling into the water, um, and you kind of get him doing that just a touch, like right there, I guess he does. So maybe it just should happen a little earlier. Um, and then there doesn't really seem to be a ton of anticipation for this. It's kind of like he comes up into this squashed pose, and like you feel like he needs to dip just a f just for a frame or two right before he kind of pushes off to that. So it doesn't feel like it has enough anticipation there to me. Um, and then... Yeah, 
this one kind of is the same thing. It's like he just kind of goes from the squash pose straight into it. And so like, I, I would I would have it like this is this is gonna sound crazy. But let's, let's let's take the um so so let's say that you know your character uh let's think of the hip pose the up and down pose okay so let's say you're, you're right here normal and I'm, I'm talking about the curves now you dip down on your hips okay and this is the curve for your anticipation right and then right before he jumps like what's happening now is just kind of doing this right um instead of doing that i think of it more like i want to draw not erase think of it more of like you know this is your anticipation right and then right before he jumps dip a little bit and then jump okay and so that you know if, if that makes sense hopefully hopefully it does if not we'll we'll talk about it a little bit more um, in person I can kind of open up the file and show you um, this one's really close so I think you've got some really good poses in here um, I think it still could use just a little bit of polish to get some of these like slight hitches out of it um, but overall this one's looking pretty good uh, the only other little thing I have is this camera movement feels very linear and kind of sudden so it's like and I think like you feel I like just kind of like slam stopped so it's set to linear I think it would have it start to move a little bit throughout the whole thing so it's like barely drifting through all of this and then it picks up a little bit of speed right here on this last one instead of just sort of like like suddenly starting suddenly stopping and so that that would be my two cents on that um Alondra. Okay, so I think this will be the last one I do on this video, and then I'll try to do another video. Um, okay. Timing's looking good. Um, some of your poses are pretty good, uh, but it's you got a little bit of twinning going on as well. Um, and I'm not really feeling your, your, so your push-offs here and your contacts here. I, I'm not really feeling the stretch here and the squash here. Um, and some of that's because everything's hitting at the same time. Um, so let's sort of talk about that. Um, so like if the hips hit and then the upper body kind of follows in a, a couple frames later, you're kind of going to get this whip action that's going to feel a little bit looser, a little bit nicer. But the biggest thing right now is everything's kind of, everything hits together. You know? And we can kind of see this from some of the others. Um, and so I think just playing with that a little bit. I also would say, yeah, your poses aren't twinning quite as much, but just kind of mess with them a little bit. Um, because they're they're kind of like the arms are kind of doing very similar things in all three jumps. Um, and then this is all kind of hitting at the end at the same time. So you don't just kind of locks there. So like having the having this arm start a few frames earlier so it makes it up to his side first and then everything else hits, maybe the head hits first, the spine hits next, and then the arm kind of comes up after that. So, um, so that's going to be the, the big thing to, uh, um, to look at. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video just so it doesn't crash, and then I'll get the last four in the last video.